game where I play Knuckle Sandwich. Anyway, hi everyone. Uh, hopefully I started streaming at the right time this time. I've been experimenting because there's a little bit of a lag between when I start the stream and when the stream actually gets starts getting put out. So I'll see that later if I actually got it to sync correctly. But how is everybody doing? Sorry the stream is like 10 minutes late. Um, here's two things that happened. One, you're, you're not going to believe this. I slept in again. An accident. <laughs> very, very good at this whole streaming and YouTube thing. Very good. Uh, two, uh, I realized that this time, uh, even though I slept in, I didn't want to not eat food. So I decided to just be a couple minutes late so I could finish eating some, uh, some like late lunch. So if you're upset by the fact that I sadly wasn't around, uh, just know I was feeding and sustaining myself. Oh yeah, also somebody, yeah, thank you, thank you, Web, for uh, telling me to uh, advertise the stream in Discord, because I never do that. <clears throat> Give me a second. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. Okay, so I, like, inhaled that fucking sandwich. Like, that sandwich that I ate for lunch, I inhaled that. So much, I think it might be in my lungs. Also, I can't believe- uh, I saw somebody in chat being like, How long does it take to eat a sandwich? Have you- have you ever eaten one? What, do you just unhinge your jaw like a snake and just swallow it whole? Get the heck out of here. <clears throat> anyway, let me quickly... Quickly, uh, uh, where, where's the stream chat in the Discord? Um, <laughs> man, I'm still not used to having a Discord, by the way. Uh, I really don't. I cannot find the stream announcements channel for some reason. It's not popping up. I might have to fix that later. Um, where, where is the stream announcements? Oh man, I should have figured this out before I left. Anyway, while I figure this out, uh, we're going to be playing Knuckle Sandwich today. Uh, you would not believe this. It's an indie RPG. It's an indie RPG. And it might just be about depression. I'm kidding though. I'm kidding. I have no idea what it's about. For 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 some for some clarification, I backed this game on Kickstarter uh, like ages ago now. <laughs> ages ago, when it when it first started development, I I backed it on Kickstarter, uh, and it it looked it looked really good back then. It looks really good right now, and what I've heard what I've heard is that uh. The people who like this game, really like it. Server- oh, server guide tab. Okay, th thank you. Uh, stream announcements. I just need to- There we go. Stream announcements on the- There we go, it's on the bulletin board. I don't know why, for some reason, I didn't have- Oh, I don't- I don't have access to the stream announcements on the Discord. Oh, well. Oh, it looks like I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be able to use- I can't- I can't post in my own stream announcements on Discord. All my friends can, I can't for some reason. So, I'll figure that out later. Uh, I don't know what happened with that. It seemed like- it seemed like some stuff changed on the Discord and I completely was not aware of it. But that's okay, I'll figure it out later. Anyway, so yeah, Knuckle Sandwich, uh, uh, it's inspired by stuff like WarioWare, and obviously, like, a bit of, like, Earthbound, which, you know, I feel like most indie RPGs have some form of inspiration in. Uh, Salty isn't even a master of his own server. That's the weird part! I have the highest roll, and I can't figure out how to post in the freaking, in, in the st stream announcements chat for some reason. 
For some reason, I can't do it. Hold on, I'm gonna try one more thing and then I'm just moving on. There we go, now I can. What the heck, that's so weird. Anyway. At boys. Ah oh, man, I'm trying to remember what what's the uh Dang it. I think it's I think I'm adding big man. Dang, I really need to figure out this whole Discord server thing. Uh I'm <laughs> I'm probably losing viewers the longer that I take with this. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Uh, how do I? Man, we really, I really should have figured this out before I started. Anyway, screw it. I'm just adding everyone. I'm just adding everybody. Everybody gets added this time. I won't do this again, but I'm adding everyone this time. Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I won't do this again. Adding everyone because I can't <laughs> figure this out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> okay, there. There, I added. Sorry. Sorry to the moderators. I completely- I- I threw the stream notification thing out the window because I was struggling to figure it out. Oh, it, it's- it's big boy. I'm supposed to- I'm supposed to- I'm supposed to, uh, at big boys. Okay. There. Yes. Okay. Got it. Anyway, welcome to Knuckle Sandwich! <laughs> Sorry, it's like a couple minutes in now. I won't take too long now. Uh, uh, check out the fundraiser. We got the links in the description. Uh, we're almost to 11k, so the Pokemon using Tetris streams are gonna happen. Probably not immediately, because I want to get through uh, Yakuza and stuff first, but they're definitely happening at this point, I think. We're very close. Uh, and then after that, uh, have you heard about Spongebob and Tehran 2? And compared to other stuff on this list, uh, I'm actually pretty close to finishing that video. I'm just not finishing it until, uh, finishing it and uploading until it's, you know, it, it gets met on the, the goals thing. Because I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of mixed on the video. There are parts about it I really like, and then there are parts about it that I'm like, this is gonna get me demonetized. I had to censor so many parts of the video because I'm like if I say these very specific keywords YouTube will not like it um, and I've done good so far but it's it's a it's a crapshoot because sometimes it gets completely demonetized other times it's totally fine and I'm not really sure what is causing it um, but yeah anyway did somebody say knuckle sandwich If you guys weren't here for when I explained this, uh, Knuckle Sandwich was a game that started development a while ago. I backed it on Kickstarter because uh, I I thought it looked really really cool. At that time, you know, I I didn't play like the 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 most indie RPGs that I had played was like Undertale, and that was really it. Um, then after that, uh. I played, uh, I, I ended up playing Earthbound, uh, in the recent year or so, and I really liked Earthbound, so I was really stoked about getting to finally, finally get to play more indie RPGs, and thankfully this came out when I was, I'm um, kind of in my indie RPG phase again, so, yeah, I, listen, I woke up late. <laughs> I feel like I need to I need to preface with that. I woke up late. Uh, my brain is a little bit frazzled, but I feel like that's kind of the best place to be when you play a game like this, because I've heard that this story is a little bit wacky. It's a little bit a little bit nuts, a little bit wacky. 
Um, what else? Uh, b -b 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 what else should I say? Oh, uh, this game uh, from the get-go kind of seems like a mix between an RPG and WarioWare, which already sounds immediately up my alley. I love WarioWare. I've loved WarioWare ever since I got smooth moves on the Wii like ages ago and, and first discovered the series. I didn't know that it existed before uh, Smooth Moves on the Wii. And I still maintain that Smooth Moves is probably like my favorite game in the entire series, even today. And I still think that stylistically, not to get off track, stylistically, Smooth Moves is the best game in the series art style wise. And I feel like modern WarioWare games have gotten pretty samey with how they represent the characters. And I feel like, I feel like it's been too commodified and Smooth Moves feels like it's a little bit weird and I like it. And anyway, whatever, I could go off about modern WarioWare art style gripes all day. Um, but yeah, we're going to knuckle our sandwiches today. Oh, wait, whoop. There we go. Streaming now, uh, uh, recording now, whoops. I accidentally desynced the intro because I had it in full screen and then minimized it. Dude, that's him. That's Knuckle Sandwich. You see, even the title, even the title knows that it's Knuckle Sandwich. It's him. Okay. Easy, very easy controls. Oh, that's cool. It like shows you pressing the buttons. Hey, mate. I didn't see you there. Uh, uh, sorry. I just wasn't expecting you so soon. Let's get started straight away. What should we call you? <laughs> Me? Sandwich. Knuckle sandwich. <clears throat> what? Okay, what, what should our name be? I'm tempted to just kind of do my normal name. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on. Light bulb. Sammy. Sammy. Short for sandwich. You know what I mean? Has anybody in chat ever called sandwiches Sammy's? First name Sammy, last name Knuckle. Cool, so it's uh... Dang, I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> to me, I think you'll always be the new kid. <laughs> Uh, so while we're here, do you want to change any settings? Yeah, sure. Let me look at them settings. Full screen border. Ooh, cool. It's it's like a... Ooh, okay. It's kind of like one of those borders, like when they do like collections of retro games on modern consoles. I usually hate those things, but these are pretty cool. Interesting. I think I might just stick with the purple. I, I like I like the borders when they're slightly darker colors, you know what I mean? Text box theme. Ooh, they got some nice flavors down here. No oh, Final Fantasy. I think I'll go classic with that one too. Input theme. Ooh, input box theme. Okay. Surprising amount of customization. Pretty cool. I'm gonna put that in the uh, dark. Music, music, gameplay settings, battle mode manual. Oh, geez. Gain EXP. Talk about whether or not you want to gain experience from defeating enemies. Auto heal. Recover full health after every battle. Nah, that might be a bit too much. Graphics settings. Screen shake on. Battle backgrounds on. Simplify VFX off. Uh, reduce flashing colors and other visual effects. Flashing colors as in, like, stuff that might give people seizures? We should probably turn that on, right? Stat changes, uh... Show your battles. Block visual. Toggle, we toggle whether a visual indicator for blocking attacks is displayed. Well, that's left to off, so... I'm gonna leave that off. Uh... 
Um, what else? Skill animations, EXP bar, dim skill background. I'm gonna leave everything else to same settings. Uh, screen settings, uh, VSync, computer age, <laughs> really old. What is is that like? Adjust performance based on how modern your computer is. D does first off, my computer is not really old. Okay, well that just caused issues. Extra modern? Really old. Why why is it changing the window size? Okay, we're we're on extra modern now. If if we run into issues, if if my computer like sets on fire, then we'll change it. Uh, alternate sync method on. Uh achievement hunter, no. Are you looking for all of the achievements? I just got an achievement for turning that on. <laughs> okay. I can't turn it off, so I think that I think that button is specifically to get an achievement. Okay, cool. Hold on, where are my earbuds? Hold on a second. Probably because your computer's really old. No, it's not old. I got this like in college. It's not a really old PC. Dude, I'm always losing my freaking earbuds, dude. Hey Chrissy, are you still in the chat? Is the volume okay? I was gonna test it on my end, but I can't find my earbuds, so we're just gonna pretend like it's totally good. Cool. Uh, that's actually all we had to go over right now. See you in a bit. Bro, how long ago was college? I- I graduate- I'm- I'm 25. I'm 25. I graduated like, two years ago. <laughs> Salty stopped playing on a potato. This is not a potato! I spent like- I ended up spending I think around like 2,000 on this that I had to save! Because I was like in college, like that's a lot of money. Up this way, buddy. Hey, mate. Welcome to Bright City. Remember me? We talked about a minute ago. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, you could call me bus driver. Anyway, where am I taking you today? I wanna... I'd rather not say. Oh, not much of a talker, huh? That's A-OK -okay with me. If you're on this bus, I bet you're heading to the job center. That's the best place to find one of those fancy city jobs. Take a seat. There's no seats available. Nah, that's city people for you. We're almost at the job center. Just sit tight or stand. <laughs> Sir, you shouldn't be talking while driving. If you shouldn't be talking while driving, I feel like I should be arrested because I kind of do that all the time. <laughs> like, what do you mean you shouldn't- <laughs> You shouldn't be talking while driving, sir! Do, do all of your bodily functions shut down while you're driving? Okay, so... Uh, full disclosure, I played the demo to this game uh, when the Kickstarter was out, uh, and because of that, I kind of vaguely remember this intro section. I think the demo is just the first chapter. Hey, nice to see you here. I do some mild 10k run every afternoon. Running's the best. Did you know that you can run too? All you gotta do is hold B. Haha, <laughs> what? <laughs> Ducks. Oh no, I wanted to interact with the ducks. I didn't want to push the ducks away. It's a ridiculously detailed map of Bright City, featuring an in-depth history of the area. There's no time to read it, though. Wow, you look terrible! Talk about rough! The, the, man, this dog reminds me of my dog. Reminds me of my dog Charlie from when I was a kid. He's still around, I just- I- you know, don't live with my parents anymore. Uh, 
Awesome, this game has trash can physics. A bed. I hear that this is where sleeping happens. It's someone else's computer. It's a bit rude to look through it. What's what's in here? I don't know what's behind this door. It would be rude to barge in. I decided to clean up my act and turn away from a life of crime. Cool. You have anything else to say? Hopefully I can get a job where cops can't find me. I'm wanted for tax evasion. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm playing this cool game right now. I think it's about this kid who moves to a new city looks for a job. I'm an hour in and actually it'd be rude for me to spoil the game for someone who hasn't played it yet. Hilarious. I'm gonna stay off the internet before someone ruins it for me. What, can't you see I'm busy? It's not actually available on phones. I hacked it to make it work. Okay. Life hack. Drink plenty of water and take a break when you need to. That is, that is a good life hack, chat. Keep that in mind. Who's this guy next to the rock? Hey, kid. I have a heap of rare items for sale. Would you like to buy something? Good choice, my friend. Just hand over your... Hey, wait a second. You don't have any fortune rocks. Get out of here! Okay, no, I don't got no fortune rocks. You know, there's something about these picnic, bi picnic blankets. They'd be super uncomfortable as regular blankets, but when they're on the ground, they're the best. Ha ha ha. I could sleep here all day. We're going to look for work at the job center, but it's way too crowded. Oh wait, it's that guy from earlier. We haven't seen your face around here, so it must mean you're new here. In that case, welcome to Bright City. I'm the I'm from the local gym just a bit north of here. Can I ask you some questions? Great! So first question. Uh, would you say that the peak physical performance is your number one priority? Nice! Next question. Do you like sweat? Alright! One last question. Do you like paying weekly membership fees? Yes! You sound so dreamy, bro! I can tell you're a very interesting individual. Maybe you're the one that we've been looking for. Maybe we'll come find you in the next two to five business days. <laughs> Maybe you should take care. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, that that this is exactly how I got my last gym membership. Oh, hey, it's that area of the game that I said something super unfortunate about like five years ago when I played the demo. Hi there, welcome to the job center. I'm very confident that you're here for a job. We can certainly help with that. Unfortunately, we're a bit busy right now, so you'll have to take a number. Great, so your number is 128. When your number is up on that screen, you can go through. It shouldn't take too much. Oh, oh, oh look, it's done. You can go through now. Good luck. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, hey, look, it's bus driver guy. Hey, hey, over here. Hey, mate, I'm just making sure you got here okay. I wouldn't want anything that bad to happen to you on your first day in town. Did you know that everyone who moves here comes to the job center? I think it's Bright City's way of evaluating all its residents. A bit weird of an ask. A bit weird if you ask me, but hey, if the locals are cool with it, then who am I to judge? Anyway, before you go, I wanted to ask you something. I don't normally do this, but would you like to save the game? Hey, cool. I'll catch up with you later. Good luck in there. Alright, here I go.
Hi, I guess you're here for a job? I have some forms for you to fill in. And help us figure out what role you're best suited for. Let's get started. Are you a morning person? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Can I control that? These are my top three skills. <laughs> it's really hard to control. Wait, wait, I'm gonna try to do it. What? No! What? <laughs> no, yeah, I meant to say yes! No, wait, no, that was not me. I did not do that. <laughs> I would never. I love video games. You guys have to believe me. Well, I have seen weirder answers. I'll run the results. Just a sec. It'll take a minute just to get the re- Oh, hey, look at that. It's done. It looks- okay. <laughs> Four. Looks like we have four jobs available for you today. Want to find out what they are? Oh, she disappeared. Welcome to Game Show! It's just called Game Show? Okay. A lot, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of interesting individuals in the audience today. <laughs> Hello there, puny human! I want you, I want to welcome you to Game Show! Oh, that's a little bit too loud. Hold on. There we go, around there. Today is your host and new friend. I will help you find your dream job. From a predetermined list, of course. <laughs> anyway, spin the wheel and see where fate takes you. Ah, oh, dude, I'm hoping for orange. Come on, orange. Damn it. <laughs> yes, a dancer. This is a very exciting opportunity. Enter the door to the left when you are ready. All right, here I go. Well, what about you? A dancer, huh? This will be interesting. Oh, hello? So, you're the new dancer? Looks like they're letting anyone apply these days. Let's see what you're made of. Don't worry, these outfits Don't worry, these outfits can make anyone look good. Now then, I bet you can't keep up with me. Okay. Dude, they got they got Friday night fucking on this. I think this is the most challenging gameplay I've ever played in my life. Oh, this is going crazy. They added another, they added another arrow. Okay, it's starting to actually get kind of- WHAT?! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It oh no, it's speeding up! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Please! Stop! <laughs> I can't dance this fast! <laughs> oh my god. Incredible. I've never seen such heavenly rhythm. 
I can't have someone better than me around here. Uh, you call that dancing? Get out of here! Ow. <laughs> you sure messed that up. <laughs> have another spin of the wheel. Well, at least I was so good at the job that they fired me. Come on, orange. Come on, orange. Come on, orange. God damn it! Wow, you got a space cleaner! What does that even mean? <laughs> I guess there's only one way to find out on Game Show! Oh. Oh, I'm in space and I'm gonna clean it. I get it. I get it. I understand, I know. Uh, hey there, you're the new recruit, huh? Listen, I'm gonna get right to it. I've been having a problem with this space monster. I've been trying all day and I can't seem to destroy it. Hopefully you'll have more luck than me. Okay. Okay, your mission is simple. All I gotta do is shoot this thing to death. Just remember this, you can't let it whack you. Uh-oh, looks like it's launching an attack on us now. Okay, I'm, I'm shooting. So far, so good. Get ready, here it comes. Oh, that sure is a thing. Okay, I, I, I'm, it's whacking me, guys. It's, it, I'm being whacked. Oh, I move faster when I'm not shooting. I'm definitely not going to do good on this one. Um... Ow! Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Okay, I got the ear. Got the mouth. Hold on, I might- I might slay at this. Hold on, there's still- there's still time to slay. There we go! Slayed! And pose. Wow, you did it. I've been trying to beat that thing all day. What are you two doing? Have you both been playing games this whole time? You were meant to be cleaning. Get out of here, you're both fired! Oh dang, my bad. <laughs> wow, you didn't get that one either? You're making this show exciting, that's for sure. You know the drill, have it spin in the wheel. Come on, orange! Yes! Yes! Oh, looks like you got him, uh... <clears throat> this must be a mistake, spin the wheel again. No, I wanted orange! No! Why would you take it away from me? Whoa, you got exterminator! I sure hope you hate bugs, or this will get emotional. Don't mess this up. I wanted orange, you fucking asshole. This entire game, I've just wanted orange, and all of a sudden, I, I don't, I'm not allowed to get it. Oh, hi. You're the new kid? Cool, so that means I get to teach you how to be a top exterminator. So you see, I kind of lied when I placed an ad looking for new staff. Most exterminators hate insects, but not me. To me, this job is an act. I do it to save the bugs from certain death. Soon I shall have the best insect resort island in world the world has ever seen.
<gasps> I need you to help me with my cleanse. <laughs> You'll have to help me catch all of the bugs in block in this block of land here. I use nets to avoid violence. It's okay. I saw it in a video game once. If you're a good sport, I might even invite you to my island. Heh. <laughs> Okay, this will be easy. All you got to do is hit A to swing the net. Talk to me when you catch them all. Bug. 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 I forgot that I could run for a second there. Okay, is that all of them? I think that that's all of them. Nice, now we're one step closer to- Oh, it looks like he missed one. Go take care of it. I thought I got all of them. Oh. That was not there before. Oh, battle. Okay. Um. Skill. Defend. Fight. Item. Packed lunch. But uh, aren't I not supposed to fight the bees? I can't run. Okay, I guess I'll fight. How does- okay, how does that work? <laughs> Dodge the bugs. Fight. You win. Why does he look so much like Salty, lol? I don't think this looks like me that much. Maybe because he's got a different colored nose. Well, I got three fortune rocks. Bro is pointing. <laughs> What are you doing? I told you to protect the bugs! I leave you alone for five minutes and you're over here punching bees! You're banned from Bug Island! Get out of my sight! You didn't get the job? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Usually everyone who comes here gets a job. I guess you're not cut out for the workforce. <laughs> we cannot help you. <laughs> you must leave now. Please? I'm sorry, we could not help you today. I hope you find what you're looking for. Alright. Walk of shame. I just got booted off a shark tank. Oh, and they're laughing. I got attacked by I got attacked by bees and you're all laughing at me. Well, I guess I'll, I'll just take the walk of shame. Gorilla Burger. Staff wanted. Immediate start. We'll hire anyone. Call me. Chapter end. Do you like to save the game? Okay, I guess we're going to go work at Gorilla Burger. Chapter one. I only know the wrong way. Gorilla. Dude, this looks like a burger shop that I would open. Excuse me, I'm here to t I'm here to ask for a job, maybe. Ooh, toilets. What a great collection of snacks. I wonder if there are any big biscuits. Would you like to heal your party? Yes. Hello? Why is this happening? <laughs> Holy shit! Instant transmission! Oh, I see now. You're, you're here for a job. Gross.
looks like I have no choice. You see, all my other staff left because I didn't pay them. <laughs> it's fine though, they were deadbeats. Are you a deadbeat? You better not. I'll fire you too. Now, let's see what you can do. What are you talking to me for? Clean up this place! Okay. Yes, yes, you clean those tables. My customers are gonna arrive, so I have no time to show you around. Remember this! Don't mix up their order. Don't leave them leave a, Don't leave a mess. Don't make them mad. This is your life now, and it looks like I'm your new boss. Get to work! What what is happening? What? Holy what is happening? Dude, they're really throwing me into this. I have to wait till he. One. Yellow is one. Nine. Eight, nine. Damn, they're they are really, they are really throwing me into this. What? Don't get mad at me! You bumped into me! I work! I work for a living! Fifteen. We're almost at max level customer satisfaction! Twelve. There we go. And not a single error. Dude looks like a deadbeat Wario. <laughs> Get an A rank. Well, kid, I don't know what to say. Oh, I know. That was awful. <laughs> you're one. You're only. You're my only staff, though, so I guess you could stay. Before you go, I need you to take out the rubbish. Take this with you. Wait, hold on. I'm. I'm Turning up the volume a little bit. You received a pocket knife. I sure hope you never have to use it. Psst. You can hold certain items by selecting them from the item menu. Just press X outside of battle to access it. There's a jungle out there, kid. Make sure you don't toss that knife away. Things will be a lot harder for you if you do. You know... You know, when I got into this business, I had a gun. Ha ha ha! Anyway, just throw out the rubbish and Just throw the rubbish in the skip outs. Oh, who could that be? Well, what are you waiting for? Go answer the phone! This guy's so angry. Uh, hey, mate. Uh, sorry to call so late. I just wanted to say congratulations on landing a job. Look, I don't normally do this, but you want to save the game? <laughs> cool, we'll see you later. Okay, items. Leotard, arcade token. Can I... Hold? In my right hand. Wow, rude. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh! Take out the rubbish! Do I go out here, or...? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, but there's a thing on the ground. Found a pear. Where did we... Where did he go? Dude, I'm so good at this game. I will say that the controls in this game, a little tiny bit wonky. Like, there's no diagonal movement. It's it's only up, down, oh. Hi there, nice night out, huh? 
This guy's this guy's kind of sus like the hit game among us. What's wrong, pal? We're just talking, right? Oh, that's a nice knife you got there. Personally, I like pocket knives. They're small and easy to conceal. <laughs> hey, I have a great idea. How about we have a knife fight? All right, we're we're fighting with the knife. Oh, I have the knife in my hand. All right, let's see how you take this. Oh, I dodged at the wrong time. Critical. Okay, fight. Oh, ouch, you're a lot tougher than you look. This is getting interesting. <laughs> I just can't get this stupid smile off my face. I hope it doesn't ruin my ability to hit you. Ah, when he smiles, that's his tell. You're very eager to get the job done. Is that all you can do? You don't have any other skills? Oh, skills, you say. Skill. Defend. Beat down. Hurl yourself at all of your foes without any regard for your dignity. This has a small chance of making the targets dizzy. That's enough playtime. Looks like we're not messing around. Oh, he drank tonic. Button mash? That's hard. That's actually hard to do. Oh, I don't have enough s for skill again. Time for my dangerous slice. No one ever dodges this one. Especially not by pressing A at the right moment. <laughs> Ooh. Watch out. Oh, I, I failed. This better end on a tickle fight. I that would be insane. Dang, I'm not fast enough for these. Okay. Man, the music in this game is really good. There we go. Dodged. Yeah, like shocker the the music in this game is good as if I haven't been following it and I, I, I I'm like aware of who who worked on it pretty sure Nellward did music for this game I don't know about all of the music but he did some great music if you haven't listened to Nellward uh, listen to Nellward it's great stuff Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Stool! Oh wow! Was not expecting that to be as violent as it is. Oh. Cool! Oh! What? <laughs> well, hey, looks like I was right. Knives do save lives. <laughs> what have you done? This was not the part of the plan. <laughs> wow. Well, wow, he's like really dead. I suppose there's no time to waste. Bring his body inside. We've got some cooking to do. It's done. Listen, it couldn't be avoided. 
We had to cook that deadbeat's body. The sooner you accept your disgusting decisions, the better. You know, I was always told to never let good food go to waste. It couldn't hurt just to try it just a little bit. Uh... What? What is this sensation? I've never tasted anything so good. It's... It's delicious. Yes! Why didn't I... Try it sooner? I need to eat more. Much more. Okay, back to reality. I got it! I can monetize this taste. Let's cook up more of these deadbeats and serve them. We'll sell hamburgers. No, no, even better. We can sell the world's most delicious... Knuckle sandwich. And that's, that's, that's where, that's, that's where the title of the game, where the title of the game comes from, I guess, um, I'm very confused, uh, is this really what the game's about? <laughs> Oh, it crashed. Hold on. <laughs> Is that like the old Game Maker loading screen? <laughs> Cracked by Andrew Brophy. Knuckle sandwich. Okay. Yeah, that feels like uh, the look of somebody who has sins crawling on their back. What, you're still here? You can help me with my master plan tomorrow. Go home! Chapter end. Would you like to save the game? Dude, what? <laughs> Chapter two, big bluff. Yeah, this, this is the plot of the game, I guess. Um, we're just gonna murder a bunch of people and then cook them. And somehow the game will still find a way to be uh, a game about depression. Somehow. They'll figure it out. He is so me, it's crazy. Oh, he's very much me. He kills people too. Me when I'm like, hey, can I be real for a second? Hey, mate. So, uh, that got out of hand really fast, hey? Uh, don't worry. I'm not here to give you a hard time. Judging someone for a choice they didn't get to make isn't very productive. I have no idea what I would have done in your situation. So, you want to talk about it? Not really. Yeah, what else can we really say? It's really not an ideal situation to be in. Sorry, I'm not being very helpful right now. Last time I checked, accidentally murdering someone is frowned upon around here. I think it'd be a good idea to probably be keep quiet about it. You won't be much uh, use if the cops find out what you did. Anyway, we have work to do. 
I was gonna ease you into this, but considering what just happened, it feels like we have a bit of a time limit. You ready? Uh, work? That's right. We've got a job to do, and it can't be done out here. Can't believe we have to go to Goblin Design Tower. <laughs> what? Okay. What? But why? And why? What? What, do, what is the? What do you mean? What do you mean by that, though? Goblin Design Tower. But why is it called that? Is it a place where you design goblins? Well, okay. Well, I guess we'll, we won't figure that out. Oh, wait a second. There is diagonal movement in the game. There, there is diagonal movement, but only when you're walking. When you're running, it's just... That's interesting. When you're running, it's just up, down, left, and right. But when you're walking, there is a full diagonal movement. Okay. Okay, I get it. Uh, boss? Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> you're here, finally! I thought maybe you weren't gonna turn up. You're not gonna tell anyone about what you did, right? But remember, you're the one who committed the crime. Well, I'm completely innocent, so you'd be the one who gets locked up. <laughs> it's a foolproof plan for me. <laughs> anyway, if we're gonna make this work, we gotta run a smooth operation. That means you can't be out front. You're scared. You're gonna scare the customers. So, I'm gonna leave you right here, where you can't be seen. That's right, you'll be frying up the deadbeat burgers. It's pretty disgusting, not the kind of thing I'd wish on anyone, really. Well, enjoy! Okay, time to flip. Press A to flip the burgers. There we go. Perfect. Get ready. Okay, I gotta wait till they're red. Two cooked? I can't get fired. This is my first real job. Too raw? You, you people have no right to complain. I killed this man with my bare hands. Why? What do you mean it's too raw? Too cooked? Too cooked? What are you talking about? Oh, now it's perfect. Too raw. Shut up. I'm amazing at my job. Pretty chill music for a game about flipping burgers made out of human flesh. True. Well, looks like I've made another another mistake. You really do make my life difficult, kid. I will not be paying you again. Ha ha ha! You're lucky I'm giving you this opportunity, so you better work hard for it. Anyway, I want to show you something. You're right, dude. This is pretty cool. Isn't it a beaut? It's like a shower before your clothes. It's called a washing machine. Would you believe I found it outside? Because I did. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it is really cool, dude. Looks like I can save my progress with the washing <laughs> with the washing machine. You want to save the game? Okay. What a life. Anyway, just take out the rubbish and you're good to go. I'll figure out another way for you to disappoint me tomorrow. Okay.
Dum de dum de dum. I feel like I'm gonna get into another knife fight. But you know, that's just me. Okay, one more. Oh, wait. We might actually be okay. No, oh, look at that. Oh. Well, that was weird. Boss, I'm back. I'm sorry, was that noise from Dragon Ball Tenkaichi? Was that noise? Was that noise a sample? A sample from the Dragon Ball... Like the Dragon Ball uh, Tenkaichi English theme song? Dragon Ball Z. Ah! Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not the only one that heard that, right? Sorry, I got so distracted by the sample from, like, the Dragon Ball theme song in America that I completely just, like, I couldn't even process what was happening in front of me. Hello, Anomaly. I've gotta say, you're not quite what I expected. I suppose looks can be deceiving. Oh, you running away from me? There's no way I'm letting that happen. Surely you knew someone was going to come for you. If you meddle with the natural order of the universe, you gotta pay the price. It's from the English OP, yeah? That, that's what I'm saying! It sounded like the English, the, the English Dragon Ball opening. I was introduced to that through the Dragon Ball Tenkaichi game, so... I've been preparing for this as long as I can remember. I had to strike as soon as I was sure it was you. Knowing that there are people out there like you makes me sick! I hope it was all worth it. There's so much instant transmission in this game, it's crazy. Everybody knows how to instant transmission and teleport all across the map. My body is a temple, and you just stepped in it with your shoes on! I've been working hard to be the best. I knew I had to be number one. I carry the weight of the world on my shoulders. Ever since I gained the ability to sense disturbances, I knew this would be my destiny. I see a young man walking alone a mountainside to his family's chateau. The path crumbles beneath him, and he plummets into a ravine. His muscles are too large. He's trapped in the narrow gorge. And yet, a voice calls out to him. A light shines bright. He knows what he must do. He knows what he must become. That man was my dad. I'm strong. So strong. Listen, I hate to burst your bubble, but I'm on another level. Hoo-ha! Okay, another battle. Fight strong. I'm gonna put everything in I'm gonna put everything into this attack. Let's see if you can take my power. I dodged too early. Jesus Christ! Wow! Oh my god! What? Oh, okay. Hey, mate. So, uh, I gotta ask. What are you doing down there? Actually, I have a better question. What happened to your face? I got punched. You telling me to go... Are you telling me you got into another fight? I knew getting you involved would put you in danger. I just didn't expect it to be this frequent. Hmm. Bright City does have a crime problem. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Did you... Did they say anything weird? Called me an anomaly? An anomaly? Oh. I feared that there were misguided people like this on Earth. 
Seven. We've got a lot to go over. You might want to sit down for this. All right, time for lore. Let's start at the beginning. Life, death, time, space. Every living thing that exists is made up of the same type of energy. While it affects different life forms in different ways, it's one of the one things that connects all of us. But it's simply, this energy is the stuff that life is made of. Those of us in the industry call the energy spirit cells. You may have heard of similar concepts in television or maybe even a book. Now, this next part may be a big shock, so brace yourself. I'm not really a bus driver. <laughs> I'm sorry I misled you into thinking that I was a humble public transport officer. The truth is, I'm made up... <laughs> I'm from up here, in the Goblin Realm. <laughs> I work here, at Goblin Design Tower. My job is to keep track of any anomalies between here and from your home, the human realm. I recently noticed a huge spike in spirit cell readings in Bright City. It's a huge concentration. Clearly something suspicious is happening. Unfortunately, I have no idea where it's coming from or what is causing it. Humans think they've cracked the code and try to manipulate spirit cells are a huge problem. I have a horrible feeling someone is trying to cause a rift between our worlds. If that were to happen, all hell would break loose. So it's like Yu Yu Hakusho? I watched like... 30 episodes of that show. It's kind of like that, I guess. Bet you're wondering how you fit into all this. Well, people like me can't stay too long in your world. Just my presence alone could cause things to go, uh, weird. We had an incident quite a while ago. A lot of rules had to be made about what we can and can't do. If I were to stay down there too long, it'd be bad news for everyone. I'm just too buff. <laughs> More importantly, it would also mean I'd have to do a mountain of paperwork. So that's why I have to partner up with a human. But, but why me? I chose you because you're new in town. You also don't know anyone, and it looked like you didn't have much else going on. <laughs> just kidding. It wasn't anything like that. I suppose I just had a good feeling. I could sense a pretty gnarly energy coming out of you. I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but I reckon it'll come in handy. Anyway, let's get started. We have to find out who or what is causing a disturbance in Bright City. It won't be easy, but there are certainly going to be some tough challenges ahead of you. Much like the one waiting for you when you get back. It's okay, I have a secret weapon. Oh, little guy! I love little guys. That's right, a baby goblin. <laughs> Goblins are filled with a dangerous amount of spirit cells. There's nothing out there that can contain their energy. If one of them gives you its power, you'll be for sure strong enough to take on anything. So my plan is to release this one, and you can call it on help when you're in a bind. How does that sound? Uh, sounds good. I love baby goblins. Sure does sound good, hey? I've never actually done this before, so I'm gonna need you to stand back. Uh, just give me a sec. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Summoning a goblin is a bit of a Pandora's box type scenario. Uh, I gotta make sure I do this correctly. Okay, I'm about to do it. This is a good idea. I can do this. Can I do this? Yeah, you can do this, dude. I'm gonna do it. Summoning Goblin. You have been absolved of your sins, viewer. <laughs> uh, I thought there'd be more fanfare than that. 
Uh oh. Ouch. I wonder if that worked. You see any goblins around here? <laughs> Hold on a second. Pig skin, big belly, no real sense of, of adventure. There's no doubt about it. This is the homebody goblin. Okay, buddy, we're gonna need your help. Wanna join us in the human realm? What the hell is happening? Dude, you and me both, man. I, I don't know what's going on. What? Well, it looks like we're here now. I was afraid something like this would happen. When a heap of spirit cell energy gets released, it can have some unfortunate side effects. Take a look around. Believe it or not, we're back in Bright City. But this is but this place is a mess. I have a feeling more than one goblin was summoned. This is entirely my fault. Well, no point in dwelling on it. You could find can you find us a way out of here? I'm gonna look for the homebody goblin. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Save the game. Oh, I assume these are random encounters. Oh no, it's an oozer. Dude, what happened? What happened to my character? He, he, all of a sudden, he's so depressed. <laughs> Give me those fortune rocks. Yeah. This is so goblin core. Yeah, true. It's an apple bat. Hit the apple. There you go. Shoot him up. Oh, this is cool. Run away. Don't hurt me, please. No, no, I'm in the cool rock. No, stop. And this battle theme is sick. No, dude, I really like the music in this game so far. Yeah, look, it's like the game is corrupted. Oh wait, there was something over there. There's a pink ball. Hold on. I want to get the ball. There's an item capsule. I wonder what's inside. Grapes! Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Sludge Mansion. There we go. Well, this is gonna be easy. Win. Are you level four? Look, you see? Awesome. Why does the main character look depressed? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. I think maybe because he got a black guy and he's not super stoked about it. I love the stupid noises that they make. Done. Did Nelward do the music? I, did Nelward do all of the music or just like some of the music? Because I do know that Nelward worked on this uh, music wise. I just don't know. It's all of the music or just some. What's this? Ah, we're puzzling.
Well, that's a car. Dang, that is not a lot of time. Found the red key, put it in your pocket. Six different people worked on the soundtrack. Well, they all did a fantastic job from what I can tell so far. Oh. Oh, I thought that arrow meant that I could go that way. Ah, the red key goes in the, the red square. Dude, what is happening? Oh, hey, it's Goblin Guy. Are you seeing this? This level of corruption. What you're looking at is the exact type of thing we're trying to stop. Releasing a goblin shouldn't have caused this much damage. I didn't realize how bad this is. We're lucky that this is contained to a small part of the city. I'll be able to fix this up myself. You should get going. I mean, where do I go, though? Is, is the question. Oh, hey. Oh, there's the goblin. Listen here, you. We don't have time for this. Just come with us already. Come on! Homebody goblin's giving me a bit of trouble. Sure does love to play games. This might take a while. You should keep looking for a way out of here. Let me give you my phone number. Oh, okay. Bus driver. <laughs> He's still labeled as a bus driver. Feel free to call me if you need any help. See you in a bit. I mean, I guess we still don't know this guy's name, so I guess it makes sense. I'll fight this uh, sludge. Oh, there's a big sludge and there's another sludge. I thought that there was a big and a small sludge, but turns out they just kind of like... They get bigger and smaller. Dang, the timing on the dodge is very strange. There we go. The game punishes you if you kind of just dodge for nothing. I like that if if you do the micro games correctly, then it actually hurts them. It's like a defense and an offense. There we go. This is literally just Pokemon. So close to the critical. First name bus, last name driver. Uh. What? Wait, what happened? I'm confused as to how that one worked. Oh, I, I messed up. Dang, I'm getting my ass whooped now. Really don't want to die. Some enemies like the Oozer don't really have a proper dodge tell, but the, the timing is fixed so you can learn it. Okay, well, that's good. It looks like he's about to puke. Um, packed lunch. Grapes. Party. Dang, I need I need like I need to find a heal. I don't want to use my packed lunch because that heals everything. Okay. Um 
Oh, my phone's ringing. Hey, mate. I did it. I have convinced Homebody Goblin to help us out. Oh, that was much easier as I thought it was going to be. See you in a sec. Okay, this is slightly less corrupted. Hey, mate. Homebody Goblin's going to join you now. So I thought we could have a little training session. You ready? Uh, yeah. Is this going to kill me? Okay. First things first. Select fight and try to hit me. So, this is another variant of the fight option. You can press uh, down or up to change lanes. Don't worry. It'll make sense when you try it. Okay. Nice work. You're already getting the hang of it. Let's go over some other things. You might already know this, but you can start your attack early. Just press A or right during the countdown. Oh, okay. Let's move along the fight bar faster. How about you try to hit me one more time? Ooh, okay. All right. I want to show you something cool now. Emitting a strange light. Summon Homebody Goblin. You're gonna be in the some tough fights. So summon Homebody Goblin if you need some help. You need to build up energy in your Goblin meter in order to successfully summon it. This will happen over time, but it takes but it helps if you take damage or perform critical hits. I think that's everything. Let's try it out. Okay, I I'm charging my Goblin meter, and it it insta killed the bus driver. Wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, this guy is, like, dead permanently? Just kidding, you won't be able to beat me that easily. Okay. Reckon you're ready now. You'll be strong enough to take on anyone. Just remember what I taught you and believe in yourself or whatever. Anyway, take the XP and we can get out of here. Way more inspired by Pokemon and WarioWare than anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing that. It's like a weird hybrid between like WarioWare, Pokemon, and Earthbound. Yep, goblins are powerful. Now let's get out of here. Nice goblin transition. <laughs> Very nice goblin transition. Homebody goblin's gonna join you from now on. Alright, hoping that this fixes everything. Nope, we're still messed up, but it's fine. Save the game. When I save, do I... Do I heal? Not really. Okay, where do I heal then? Oh, the snacks, the snack thing, yeah. And then I save. What about the computer? Oh, it's an item storage. We're almost ready to go. Let's get a move on. I need to get another red key. It's down there. Okay, I just wanted to check what was over there. I didn't want to fight. I do love the sound effects in this game. Whoops. There we go. Everything is goblins and goblins is everything. I guess while we're trying to get this key, you know what I've been thinking about? You know what I've been thinking about recently? I've been thinking about statistic probabilities and like the people who watch me and watch my channel. Statistically, 
One person has to be like a serial killer. Or like, or like has murdered at least one person in their lifetime. You ever think about that? Somebody who watches me right now, one of the 500,000 subscribers has to be somebody who has killed somebody in their lifetime at least once. Like statistically speaking, it, it's more likely for that to be the case than to not. I was thinking about that last night when I, when I was getting getting uh, some sleep. I was like, dang, somebody somebody who watches me and actively enjoys my stuff uh, has murdered someone at some point. Hey chat, ha have any of you guys murdered anybody? <laughs> Have any of you guys murdered anyone? Def Dude, it's definitely more than one person. I don't know. I feel like I'm giving people too much credit. Prison inmate watching this from jail. Dude, who's watching who who's watching my knuckle sandwich stream from uh, the the penitentiary? And speaking of, there, there's definitely been like a good a good chunk of people who have watched my stuff while having sex. Uh, except I also don't know if that's the case because everybody everybody who has watched my stuff, you're all definitely single. Statistically, I know that that's that's like impossible for everybody who watches me to be single. You're all single. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules, I'm just, that's just, it's impossible. It's impossible for everybody to have watched me to be in committed relationships. I say that knowing full well that I saw a comment the other day saying, my partner recommended that I watch you and I enjoyed it myself. Does, does self-pleasure count? No. No, it does not. I'm no longer sick. That's good. But yeah, no, like, like, think about that for a second. Who the heck is going to turn on, like, a video of mine and be like, you know what I'm feeling really, you know what I'm feeling right now? Horny. I need, I need to have sex with my wife right now after watching that Salty DK Dan video. Or even better, while he's speaking. While he's talking in the video, I need, I need to, I need to go fuck my wife. I need to go give my husband amazing head while watching this Salty DK Dan video. Salty, I think you should stop. Nah, I'm not. I'm getting better at the combat, at least. There we go. Your voice just does that to people? Dude! There is not a single person who watches me. And I know that- listen, I know that, that that's a pretty high probability that, that at least one person out there listens to me and is like, Damn, I'm horny right now. It's just fucking weird. How could you listen to this voice and you're like, Oh man, I need to go fuck my wife. <laughs> I need to go have sex with my partner right now. This white boy is so fucking funny. Like, there, there's definitely, like, a good chunk of people that have probably, like, fucked during watching Friendlock. Why are they doing such a thing? I have no idea. But they've done it. Yeah, Pokemon roleplay really helps me get my my rocks off, you know what I mean? 
Okay, um... There's gotta be at least one salty tulpa out there. <laughs> Don't do tulpamancy with me as your base! You can do that with literally anything! Why are you picking me? I don't want to be your headmate. I just kind of want to chill out and vibe. Which, I mean, I guess I could do as a headmate, but like, you know. Hey, hey, out there, if you can help it, uh, don't, don't make me into a tulpa, please. Thank you. I, I'd appreciate it if I was not your tulpa. Shout out to people watching this who have no idea what a tulpa is, and they're just like, okay, um, sure. So I'm getting a little bit lost right now. I need to hit the green switch. Again. Hopefully the enemies don't respawn and then just make it easier. What the hell is a tulpa? Basically, a tulpa is like... I don't even know if I'm the best person to explain this concept. Because I'm probably gonna explain it wrong and then somebody in the comments is gonna call me out and be like, You're... You're a stupid moron. You know, just look it up. Probably not the best person to explain what a tulpa is to you, I'm gonna be real. In short terms, it's kind of like... It's kind of like an imaginary friend, but it's also like a little bit of like... It, it, it kind of like lives it's like a, a separate personality that like can live in your head and like I don't really know the exact specifics on how it works but it's kind of interesting okay now that should work shit Ugh, man this puzzle sucks <laughs> I hate this Hold on, I need to hit the red key, but I can't because the green doobly-doo is, is up. Hold on. Where's the red button? Where is the freaking red button? I don't know where the red button is. Okay, that's the red button. I need to hit the green button now. And then I come back and I hit the red button. There we go. And now that green is down. There's there's no purpose in, in going over there though. Hold on. Okay, red button hit. I have to go back and hit the green button again. Damn it. <laughs> who who designed this this map? I hate you. Why would you do this? You're making me look like a moron. Okay, I think that that's good. I think I think we should be fine now. Okay, yeah, and then I just hit the blue switch. There we go. Now we got the key. Finally. Oh my god, that was too long. This is the Pokemon inspired portion, by the way. Yeah, I can tell. I can already tell. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm gonna save. Save instantly. How am I doing on health? Not good. Dude, ha have you guys ever- Okay, I'm gonna sound like an insane person. Have you guys ever sneezed and your, your body just hurts? That happens to me all the time. Like, I'll sneeze and my limbs, my limbs, like, hurt. Like, my arms, my arms hurt right now after sneezing. Like, ow. You know what I mean? Uh, 
Like I'm, I'm my arms hurt right now and I don't I think it's because like when I sneeze I like pinch a nerve. I threw out my back sneezing. I I think the reason that it happens is like you sneeze and like you pinch a nerve and it causes like pain in like your limbs. My chest blows up when I sneeze. You explode? That's not what I'm talking about at all. That's right. You can't take my overwhelming power. No one can defeat the mighty Vance. Not even a... Huh? What? Well, I shouldn't be surprised. I knew that this would be the fight of my life. Okay, now we're back on the boss. Come at me, Anomaly. Uh, roll into... Uh, <laughs> wait, curl up. Roll into your trustworthy fetal position and raise your defense. I'll, I'll try that after beatdown. You won't last long enough for me to get tired. I'm gonna go full power. Oh, what? Oh, I, I dodged at the right time? What? This attack is a little bit hard for me to do. I don't know why, but button mashing in this game is a little bit strange. Okay, time for a uh, fetal position. Fight back. Fight back! Nice. Fetal position. Go! <laughs> Fight back, dude. Beatdown is pretty good, but you have to hella mash the arrow keys. That sucks because I'm on controller, and that's kind of harder for me on controller. Do you think I'm just gonna sit here and copy your attacks? Time for my special counter attack strategy. If you touch one of these things, uh, blaster balls, you'll take damage. I dare you to hit me now. I missed. <clears throat> that's gonna be interesting. There we go. Dodged. Dang, this is gonna be hard. Summon! I summon a goblin. <laughs> In attack mode! Lift weight. There we go. I summon my cool goblin! Peace. Whoa, what was that? I like how there's a little, like, tiny, like... Like, th this plays completely different to, like, everything else in the game. I love it. Muscle showdown. Oh no, he's starting to fight back. Dang, dude. Okay, here we go. I've been training my whole life for this fight. I'll last forever. There we go. Perfect dodge. Critical. <laughs> Did anybody else see that that goblin? Did anybody else see that? That was crazy. <laughs> Muscle showdown. Oh jeez, I'm getting the tar kicked out of me. How did that hurt me? I was doing great. Ah. Oh. I'm just getting warmed up. I'll finish you off with this. 
big punch. Don't get punched. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Does that like insta kill you? That feels like an insta kill sort of move. Oh, he he, he faked me out. Critical. Okay, hopefully he's he's gonna start dying now. Ah, oh, I. What is the timing on that? That's wonky, dude. Okay, I'm gonna use the packed lunch now. I didn't want to, but oh no, maybe I should have paced myself. I've run out of energy. No, 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 no. Just play it cool. You got this. <laughs> you can't beat me. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, his defense dropped. Oh, wow. He, he's... Yeah, he's a goner. Yeah, it's over for Vance. Whoops. Thank God. No. Not like this. How dare you? I'm number one. I'm the best. I'm the only one who can do this. I... I am... I'm the hero this world deserves! Oh shit! Quick time! Quick time, event. I think... It's time for a tactical retreat. We'll get you next time. You win. Huzzah, level nine. Pro tip, try to get the bar as far right as possible. It deals way more damage. Dude, what? I'm so blood- like, beaten and bloodied. I wonder what that was all about. Looks like things are getting dangerous around here. This isn't good. I gotta get out of here. Chapter end. Would you like to save the game? Yes, please. Chapter three, new haircut. <laughs> I like I like how the font was slightly drifting to the bottom right. Watch some telly. Not not sure where this is plugged in. And then quite like fresh laundry, want to save the game? Oh, I'm just now noticing the goblin tower is, is in the picture on the wall. What? Hey, mate. Can we talk for a sec? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Dude, your pants blend in perfectly with the environment. I thought you just didn't have legs for like two seconds. You did good back there. I really wasn't expecting us to have to deal with this many setbacks. I wonder if the spirit cell anomaly is causing everyone to behave weirdly. I suppose it's fair to assume that the interdimensional balances would make people act out. That being said, there are some difficult people out there with very poor judgment and a strong sense of justice. That guy you fought is certainly one of them. He must think you're the one who's causing trouble in Bright City. You have to keep a low profile while I look for the real culprit. Sounds good to me. That's the spirit. I knew you'd make a good partner. We're gonna have to solve. We're gonna solve this case in no time. 
<laughs> You'll be happy to hear that the corrupted part of Bright City has returned to normal. For some reason, releasing the goblet set off that mess. Sure, it was totally my fault, but this is but it is bizarre that it happened to me in the first place. I'll be more careful with the powers that I use from now on. Anyway, now that you're settled into the job, it should be okay if I leave you alone for a bit. I've been picking up spirit cell readings over the island. I've got to do some digging. I, uh, I can trust you, right? I reckon the safest thing to do is to stick it out at your job, day job for now. Just try to avoid getting into any more fights. Also, what is up with these? I'm sorry. I just now am realizing the poses for each of the characters like changes every shot. Now they're back to back. They were like standing across from each other like two seconds ago. Also, if you run into any goblins, be an absolute babe and catch him for me, yeah? Uh, I think that's everything. Thanks for all your help, mate. I'll come by and get you when I find out more. See you later. What if Bus Driver is the final boss? What if? He could be, I don't know. Um... Okay. I'm guessing that my character is dreaming? GET TO WORK! Burger. GET OUT! Nice work! Good job. Nice work. You're playing on an NES? Nah, this is my dreams, I think. Let's dance! Oh. Whoa, dude's going crazy. I don't, know, I don't know how much health I have. What? Okay, cool. Oh, hey, there's, there's a thing here. It's a note. Hey, mate. I forgot to mention this, but I got you a present. It's a CD-ROM. If you hold one of these, you'll be able to perform a new skill. They're all the range in Bright City right now. Also, just in case you didn't know, if you're carrying too many items and you want to leave some behind, you can store them inside your PC. I have no idea how that works, but somebody sure figured that out. Anyway, this is turning into a really long note, so I think I'll end it here. Thanks for reading what I have to say. Hope you have a great day. B. There's more. P.S. That last part rhymed. That was a complete accident. I just w- You flipped the note over. Wanted to make sure that you didn't think that was on purpose. Uh, well, anyway, I'm gonna stop writing now. Thanks for reading. There's still more. <laughs> hey, also, I wanted- I just wanted to mention one more thing. I noticed you had some dishes that needed to be washed. And your- your, your oven was a bit dirty as well. So, I decided to do a bit of cleaning before I left. Uh, you know, I, I, I know, I know, it's totally not my place. You flipped the note over again? <laughs> You've just been such a big help lately, so I wanted to say thanks. Don't worry, I'll get you something extra nice when we're done. Anyway, see you later. Take care. Bye. An item capsule, I wonder what's inside. CD-ROM! Salty, call your boyfriend. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna call him. Hey, man, pretty nice apartment you got there. You gotta do something about that bed, though. 
He's so dreamy. And yeah, no, I, I don't have a bed. I think that this is just a mattress on the floor. Yeah, items. CD-ROM. Hold in left hand. Oh, I can turn on and off the lights. Not looking too good. Returning to world map. Oh! West City. I can finally walk around now. Ooh, gorilla. This, this is where I work. Hello, everyone. Hello. How's it going, everyone? Hello, boss. Boss, hello? Locked. Where the hell is he? Um, hmm. I don't know where my boss is. Oh, hello. What? Interesting. Ooh, rat. Of course you fight the rat. Of course the rat looks like that. How do I do that one? Is that is that just like an attack I can't defend against? Fight the regular rat. Oops. Wow, that is a powerful rat. Named Charles Entertainment She- Whoa, holy shit! I didn't do that! What is happening? Salty, you haven't called your boyfriend in 37 seconds. What are you doing? Okay, sorry, my bad. Hold on. I have no signal in this cave. I feel like I'm not supposed to be in here right now. That rat almost like one hit KO'd me. Nope, oh, not that way. Oh, there's people in here. What's taking so long? Thought you said you could fix it. I think I, I said I think I can fix it. We'll just have to test it out now. Stay back. It didn't work. I know it didn't work. Maybe next time you two steal something that does. Maybe you shouldn't lie about being able to fix it. I didn't lie. It's just more complicated than it looks. I know I'll be able to get this working. I think we just need more power. We'll have to figure out something. Maybe we just steal a heap of batteries? Sounds like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. I'll have to work on this some more. Let's head back to the hideout. I found a rock. I guess there's nothing else to do in here. What are you doing here, kid? <laughs> I've teleported you back to the restaurant. I've teleported... I've teleported you back to the restaurant. Can't have you running around looking at things using your eyes. You have to work. Speaking of work, I have to step out for a while. Normally, I would just close up shop, but uh, we've been very busy the last few days. It pains me to say this, but it looks like you're getting a promotion. If only I had someone else to watch this place instead of you. Did someone just say employment opportunity? That's right. If you need someone to complete the mundane tasks this job requires, look for no further than me, Echo. Hold it! I can't believe you, Echo. I thought we were playing together. Uh, we are. Uh, they were just talking about hiring new staff. 
It was perfect opportunity. I had to strike while the iron was hot. Who is that on the bottom right raiding the fridge right now? I just noticed that. Who is that? <laughs> it shows initiative, you know? Not calling you a liar, but I don't believe you. Anyway, I'm Thea. Please hire me. Hey, so where's Dolus? Well, I thought it was with you. Uh, no. What are you doing? Get out of there! Give us a job and money, please! Wow, I love them! They can have the job instead! The thing is, uh, I only need one more employee. This will be a very important choice. This could change everything. I absolutely cannot decide. There is just too much pressure. So, I'll make you choose. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Choose your co-worker. Oh, uh, but there's three of them. But Dolus hasn't said anything. I, I have no reason to hire him. At least Echo has initiative. You know, I'm gonna make chat decide this. I don't want to choose either. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, start poll. Echo. Thea. Or Dolus. Who should I hire? Start poll. Let's see what people think. I personally, I might, I might just be, I might just be biased towards the first one, but I, I like, I like Echo. It seems like a lot of people like Echo. He is also pretty cool, but Dolus just hasn't dent, done or said anything. All he did was just raid the fridge the moment that he showed up. This doesn't matter anyway. It <laughs> does it not? Well, people people seem to want the uh, Echo, so I'm going to just pick Echo. You want to choose the cool, calm and collected Echo? <laughs> Got to be kidding me. <laughs> I won. Weird choice, but okay. You two get out of here. Listen up, you have heaps of work to do and I don't provide training. I expect great things from you. Head out front and make sure you stay here forever. Now! It's nice to meet you. Alright, here we go. This place is packed, is this normal? Doesn't look normal. What is happening to my life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that it? I thought, I thought he, I thought he was gonna say something else. He just kind of, just kind of Kramered in and and then left. So, uh. Okay, here's the plan. <laughs> Ignore the things I said before. Due to overwhelming public demand, I'm employing all of you. <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah, it didn't matter. I will be away for uh some time. Running some, uh, errands. Who knows when I will be back? It's all yours, haha! -ha. Do you know what that means? It means get to work! I love the boss character so much. <laughs> I look so depressed! Oh my god. I just, I look so, so sad. One week later. He, has a, he literally just had a midlife crisis and left. <laughs> what a week. Why do we agree to this? Because we need money. Dolus still has not said a single word. And judging by that sprite, I don't think that he'll ever talk anytime soon.
So, I've been meaning to bring this up. Did any of you see that big whoosh of light flying around here or not? Oh yeah, I did see that during the cutscene. That's interesting. I did, I was wondering out. I did! I was wondering if someone else had to say something. It looked like a ghost. I wanna go check it out. If we have to. Let me take a swig of water. I, just, I imagine maybe... Well, where's the light? Oh, wait. Oh, that's open now. I'm pretty sure it went in here. Let's take a look around. An overwhelming... E a, an overwhelmingly evil presence is coming from this door. Want to open it? Oh. Oh, okay. We in the freezer. That... That was sick! You know what? I reckon this place is haunted. We should look around. But first, I'd better rug up. Let's go. Thea joined your party. Alright, I got, I got Thea in my party now. Oh, ice cream. I hope the boss character comes back. I already miss him. Oh, that was a great transition. Oh, yeah. This place is heaps haunted. What is that thing? I need to interact now. Yikes, it's some little drips. Oh, they're little ice cream pops with clown noses. Which are probably gumballs. Oh, and Thea also can fight. What? What even is this now? You haven't seen these things before? No worries, I'll show you what to do. Okay, when you're inside this circle, press A. Now keep going until you miss. Oh, wow, that's different. Okay. Little Drip tried snooze. So depending on my party member, does my attacks, like, change? No! Thea can't dodge! She's asleep! Six combo. Oh, now my attack is the same that it's always been now. That's a pretty cool attack move, though. So I, I assume that all the party members have different ways of attacking, then? I like Thea's way. Gonna go in here real quick. Hey, Thea. Huh, no one here. That thing was totally a ghost, though. A reasonably, a reasonably powerful speaker. A really powerful speaker. How could you sleep in a place so cold? Yeah, that, wait, that's a good point. We're in a freezer. What is this room? I didn't really think about it because of RPG logic, but why is this room in here? It, it, we're, aren't we in a freezer? Time to fight. I still have that black eye.
Yeah, Thea's attack I think is my favorite so far. Catch the ice cream. I love this stuff so much. She looks like Frankie Foster. Dude, wait! Yeah, wait, you're right! I all of a sudden like her even more. Forget about Echo. I, I am now... I Thea is now my favorite. Okay. It's so dark down here. If only we had something to light up this place. I do like the combat in this game, like, a lot. It's very fun. And there's a lot to it. There's a lot of different facets to it. Okay, hold on. So... Is it just random what type of attack I do? Do I do the- do I just do the circle or the line one, like, randomly? I'm not really sure what determines that. Does anybody know? Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, we need a- we need a way to light this place up. You found a zoop. You gave it to Thea. What the hell is a zoop? It's a frozen snack in a in a dang tube. Recover 10 EP. Oh hey, it's our boss. And the eyes follow you. Very cool. Oh it's skeletons! They're to eat skeletons! Very scary. Blast the skeletons. I blasted them thoroughly. I think depending on the enemy you get certain attacks. Oh, that's interesting. Let me try something. Okay, so if if I hit the if I hit the bomb at all, that's like 100% bad. Got it. So I can't even just like, like kind of skim over it. Like I, it, it will hurt me. There's human skeletons in the freezer. True. Yeah, there is, there is indeed human skeletons in the freezer. Time to fight some skeletons. There we go. That's a hard attack. You feel shocked. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, this this sucks big big time. Wow. Blast those skeletons, mates. It's the CD-ROM you equipped it earlier. Oh, is that what that is? That's what caused that? Oh, that's cool. I didn't actually realize. Oh, this is gonna suck. Well, I got through it anyway. Dude's attack is lagging. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. So if that's the CD-ROM that's doing that, 
Does that mean that, uh... No, nah, Thea doesn't have the CD-ROM. A compact disc with a little video game on it unlocks the skill Friend Dimension when held. I'm gonna take that. Complicated punch when held. Hold in right hand. Pocket, health drink. Yeah, I got her holding the CD-ROM too. So I assume I'm gonna find something to light up this place. Mystery powder. That was horrifying. I definitely just shit myself. Whoa! Aw, oh, man, that sucks. That's a hard attack. There we go. Time to circle. I'm pretty good at this attack, though. Like, I think that this is probably my best attack. Got to go back to the e to the entry. Uh, another room will have a flashlight. Okay. Damn, bro, epic shit. Thanks, thank you. Found another zoop. Can this can rat please move? Thank you. Um, somebody said to go back to the entry? I'll go back, why not? Apparently there's a room that has, uh, ooh, ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Ooh, more ice cream? Flashlight, please. Let's look around a bit more. Okay, so it's not in here. So I've been lied to. I've been fibbed. Oh, wait, sorry, rat. Ooh, dodged. That's actually pretty good of me. Nice, I'm getting pretty good. What is going on with my attack bar? What the hell? What the shit? What's going on with my attack bar? It's flipping out. It's so fast. Is it because the rat is fast? Like, what's going on with that? <laughs> Finally. Oh my god. At, le at least the rat can be killed in one hit. Rats are fast. Okay, that makes that makes sense. Depending on the speed of the enemy, like, the, the attack bar will be kind of wonky. Let's try this. All right. <laughs> ah, this is the punishment room. I get it now. Perfect. 
Done. Have you ever tried stabbing a rat? No, 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 no. You're you're right. You're right. Rats are hard to hard to stab. Man, I miss when my my character pointed in the battle menu. He should do that again. He should he should point again. I'm an idiot. All right, back at it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, at least I'll get a bunch of levels from finding these guys. I suck at that one really bad. Use the skills, they're funny. Yeah, but I want to I want to save the skills for fights that I need them. I don't want to just use them willy-nilly. Yeah, this is very Pokemon. There we go. Hey, Thea. Who would have expected all this stuff? Imagine the electricity bill. Was oh, is this the flashlight? Oh, a torch! You can now see where you're going. Put your torch in your other pocket. Awesome. There's a lot of books. Employee Health and Safety Handbook, Chapter 1. Does everything hurt? Are you not performing your best? It sounds like you're feeling sick. A health drink will fix your belly troubles immediately. Employee Health Safety Handbook Chapter 2 Feeling sluggish? Got the shakes? Sounds like you're feeling shocked. The best cure is some rest, or perhaps are eating a fresh herb. Employee Health and Safety Handbook uh, Chapter 3 It got an evil presence haunting you? Feeling the cold hand of, of the abyss every waking moment? Sounds like you're feeling cursed. Not sure what we can do for that, but maybe consult a, the witch pamphlet. Chapter 4. Having trouble staying awake? Can't keep your eyes closed uh, open? It sounds like you're feeling sleepy. Well, sleeping is actually good for you. If you really need to, you could try ringing a brass bell. <laughs> Chapter 5. Can't see straight? Having difficult standing? It sounds like you're feeling dizzy. The best cure is some rest. You could also try playing with a spinning top. Chapter 6. Feeling weird? How weird? Really weird? Sounds like you need a tiny token. What's this? Nothing. Excellent. Love that it gave me the option to check that. Ooh, item. Ooh, another item. Yeah, seriously, why are there, like, rooms in here? April 19th. It's been two years now, feeling very stuck. There's nothing to do here. I'm so bored. What's the point in anything? Wait, trash can? Absolutely nothing in this bin. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, it's putting, it's putting somebody to sleep. Man, I am so weirdly tired today. Even though I slept in, I'm like weirdly tired. Here we go. Well, that was quick. Key. Very good, Thea. It is a key. Cool room key. What's going on in this joint? I don't know, but let's go fight ice cream. Check this out. One, one try. One try. Whoops. I, I I got a little bit too spicy with that one. But this time, this time will be it. Feeling tired? You should ring your brass bell. You know, Chad, I, I really should. 
There we go. I heard Despresso. I, I heard Despresso helps Depresso. Don't you mean Expresso? Love these little little fucking guys. I do really like the combat in this game. It, it, it's very, like... It's very fun combat. Especially when you're so good that you can just one-shot stuff like that. Yo, I left for a bit. Who's the girl? Oh, that's Thea. She's my co-worker. She hangs out with me and is cool. Kind of her whole gimmick. Ah, I can finally see shit. And I assume that I have to go down now because I have the torch. Hold on. Time to heal up. And save. Wait, do I have any... Do I have any, uh, bars? No signal. I cannot call my boyfriend currently. That makes me very sad. Okay. Ice cream. Ice cream?! I'm much better at the circle one than I am the line one. <laughs> Despite the fact that I'm a bit tired, I am enjoying this quite a lot. Little drip. Easy. Wait, your character is gay? I think your character can kind of just be whatever you want him to be. But I will say that there is some interesting undertones between the main character and the goblin guy that you talk to. Who is a Fiber Ghost? Got the legs of a champ. Oh no, I hate- I hate this one! No! See, this is just gonna suck. Ugh. Okay. That's better. Eat your fiber, kids. Dang it! No! Don't kill me! Please? You made him gay, that's so awesome. Yeah! I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I feel like all characters in fiction should, by default, be, like, pan or bi. Like, I'm kind of tired that, like, all fictional characters, like, like... Like, don't get me wrong. It's totally fine to write a character with a specific sexuality in mind, even if that happens to be straight, but I feel like you're kind of limiting... Like, I, I, I've talked about this on stream before. I feel like you're kind of limiting the possibilities of a character's, uh... A character's, you know, development and who you compare them with if you specifically write them to be, like, straight. That's just me, though. People can do whatever they want. I just feel like, I don't know. Does anybody else see what I'm talking about? Like, if, if your character that you're writing for has a really good repertoire with another character that could be perceived as romantic, but you can't do that because you wrote the character explicitly to be straight from the beginning. I feel like you're kind of limiting that. You're, you're kind of limiting yourself a bit there. 
That's why I think all fictional characters by default should be pan, unless, you know, like, just, just pan in general so that they could just be paired with anybody, depending on just vibes alone. I don't know, maybe controversial opinion. Not this again. I hate this status condition. Ugh. Here we go. Now I'm going to cook. I don't know. I see where you're coming from, but I disagree. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I think that there's merit to writing a character with a specific sexuality in mind. Especially if that sexuality is, you know, like, you know, a very integrated part of the plot and character. But I don't know. I feel like you're just kind of limiting your story possibilities if you go into something just kind of like perceiving every character as a specific sexuality from the start. But also, it could it could be interesting to write a character that figures out their sexuality during the storyline. I could I could see that being interesting, and that definitely has merit as well. Basically, that's just my opinion. Don't have to don't have to take it as like gospel or anything. Buy and pan are umbrella terms, no need to be specific. Yeah, I always figured that buy and pan were just, in general, just kind of like the same sort of thing. I know some people disagree with that, but it just kind of feels like different words for expressing the same general thing. You know what I mean? But yeah. Sorry, I feel like I talk about sexuality on this stream a lot. I feel like that's like a, a weird theme with my streams recently. <laughs> I think it depends on the story, but I don't know. Unless stated otherwise, I think everybody should be labelless and open to anyone, I guess. No, that, I think that's exactly that's exactly what I feel like too, yeah. And obviously, you know, that also I, I think that mentality probably came from like reading fan fiction when I was younger. Okay, go over there now. Having a character being an egg and then finding out through the story, uh, through... Having a character be an egg and finding out throughout the story their true identity would be fun. You know, totally, I agree with that. I'm not saying, like, okay. I'm not saying that from the start everything should be predetermined. I think it's totally fine for characters to grow, obviously, and, like, change. I'm just saying, like, in general... I just feel like some people limit their story from being like, well, I can't pair these two characters together, they're already straight. And it's like, yes, but you can make them gay. It could work. It could work. Hear me out. Doesn't pan mean that you can fry eggs? No, that's true. When one of my friends came out as pan, I thought it was hilarious when I made that joke. I was like, haha, congrats on being, and then I just sent a picture of a frying pan. I then got shot in the chest 30 times. That's an interesting take, though. I'll definitely note that down, Salty. Yeah, sure, I mean... Like I said, nobody needs to take my word as gospel. That's just kind of how I feel about it. I thought I- I thought I took the stuff from this item capsule already. Oh. Oh my- oh my pockets are full. Okay. 
I guess I'll just leave it for now. Whoops. That's not where I have to go. Is making- wait, is making pan jokes using a frying pan- is that- is that homophobic? Did I miss the memo? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Listen, I thought I was hilarious at the time. I mean, it's the most unoriginal joke of all time. That felt impossible to me. That felt a bit impossible. <laughs> Not me being like, guys, did I commit a homophobia? That depends on- did your friend laugh? My friend did laugh. So wait, would it, <laughs> would it count as homophobia if my friend didn't laugh? And my friend was like, hey, that's- that's the most unfunny joke I've ever heard. I like how groovy these skeleton guys are. It's like they're always kind of having a good time. And good on them, the world is a very difficult place. And I don't think that being a skeleton is that much easier. Guys, I have gay friends. Yo, chat member Ghost, that's awesome. Hey, I have some gay friends too. <laughs> Isn't that kind of crazy? Hey, uh, controversial opinion, guys, uh, but I think I kind of think gay people are kind of epic. Nobody canceled me for this, but I think that gay people are kind of awesome and gay? You would not even believe. Wow, that rat hits hard. Yes, guys, like Forest and Pasty and most of the people that I know. Here we go. Dude, where are you going? Okay, now we gotta go all the way back. What? Quick, after it. <laughs> More woke nonsense, uh, uh, slash S. Yeah, it's, it's like in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure where stand users attract other stand users. If you're a queer person, you naturally attract other queer people to your location. You know, you know what's crazy is that there a lot of a lot of a lot of queer people are actually dressed like they could be JoJo characters. It's very epic. So basically, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is a very good allegory for the, the queer experience in general. Saldi, how does it feel being the pet straight of all your gay friends? Well, I used to be. And then I figured out the whole queer people attract other queer people thing. And yeah. It's locked. Wait, what do you mean it's locked? I have... Don't I have the key? Or wait, was my inventory full and I didn't pick up the key? Oh, I didn't pick up the key, did I? Oh, that sucks. I thought I picked it up. Oh no, I do have the key. Oh, but it's in my it's in my pocket. I have to put it on my person probably, right? Um Give to pocket. No, hold on. I'm figuring this out. Key that unlocks the It's unlocked. There we go. Ghost is over there. Try sneaking up on it.
Dude. Dude. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing here? Okay. I can't go to the other room. Okay, this isn't working. This is the most frustrating thing to watch. I'll wait around the other side, then you can corner it. Okay, now try it. There we go. Huh, I didn't know what I was expecting. I I have no idea what this game is about. I'm I'm gonna be real. Uh, I'm I'm trying to piece together what it's about. I'm really struggling. There we go. Okay. Left. Up. Left. Nope. Nothing there. Man, I hate- I hate sliding puzzles so much. The Pokemon is really showing in this- in this part. No, I already went that way. Dang, man. This is just how working in retail is. This is, a, this is an ex excellent game, then. This is gonna take a bit, I can already tell. It just sucks that, like, I can't really see where I'm going, I guess? If I had, like, a more zoomed out view of, like, everything, I'd probably be under able to understand where to go. Sliding puzzles are awesome. Okay, dude, keep gaslighting yourself, that, that opinion. Dude, what do I do here? The struggle is real. Oh! No, this is... Ah! Skill issue, TBH? I don't know if it's a skill issue, but it's just kind of hard to tell where to go. You know what I mean? There we go. What am I doing, man? And it's not grid-based movement, so it's very easy to get kind of disoriented very quick. Oh my god. We try again. Okay. Hold on. Uh, no, I don't like this. Uh, I need to get to that bottom left one. How do I get there, though? Nope. Or maybe yes? Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it! There it is! There we go! Nice! Salty, when trying the left and right try side for the 284th time, leads to a reset. Sorry, I listen, I'm- it's hard, I'm- my brain. Work. Any puzzles that involve sliding, I'm just- okay, I'm not falling for that. Not- not this again. I wonder what's inside. It's a petty knife. Is there sparkly? Oh, there's a sparkly here. I gotta deposit some stuff. Hold on. 
Deposit, Leotard, Arcade Token, uh, Grapes, Puffy Snack, Petty Knife. I think the, the knife is probably... Yeah. Uh, take. Yep, it's better. Except defense is minus 18, but I'll figure it out. Should I probably... I'll give the other knife to, uh... To Thea. Give to Thea. And swap for the lemonade. Pocket knife, hold, left hand. There we go. And now we save. You can equip two knives. You can dual wield? Not that I'm not interested in doing that, I guess. <laughs> oh, hey, it's that room from earlier. What are you doing in my chilled out zone? You've been heckling me non-stop since you got here. <laughs> oh, you can talk? I don't want to hear it! I've had it up to here with you two. Why do you all of you bother me? I don't know what's going on. I don't know how we all ended up down here. I don't know anything. Just let me sleep! I'm gonna squash you like a rat. Oh, uh, okay. I summon Goblin. Go, Goblin. Okay, good start. I'm glad I saved the Goblin. Don't get hit. Oh, I like that the sprite is a little Thea. I got hit. Oh, got hit again. Did the opposite of what I was trying to do. Dang, that health bar is very large. Skills. Uh, lightning bolts. Strike foe the lightning of the electricity. Flare up. Uh, increase your attack and decrease your defense. Heat wave. Curl hot beam of fire at the foe. Friend dimension. Heal back a portion of your allies' health through the power of friendship or whatever. I'll do heat wave. Oh, time for gaming. That was pretty good. Frost shield. Okay. Oh, I couldn't- I couldn't avoid that! Okay, heat- that's heat wave. Okay, there we go. Didn't do that much. Thought I would have probably done more. Also, I just realized I'm about to die. That's not super great. Don't get walloped. Dude, I'm gonna get so walloped, it's not even funny. Never mind, I did not get walloped whatsoever. That worked out. That was- that was some good damage though, wow. But that's 15 EP. I need HP, though. Okay, I, I don't have enough for that. Complicated punch. Navigate a maze to wall up your enemy. It shouldn't be this difficult to punch someone. Curl up. I'm gonna complicated punch. And then fight. Punch the targets. Oh my god. 
They they were not kidding. It should not be this difficult to punch someone. Only 86? Oh man, I gotta get better at that. Come on, Thea. Dang it. Oh, I can I can deflect it. I did not know I could do that. Really hope I don't die. Gonna curl up. Fetal position! Activate! Don't get zapped. Don't tell me what to do. Aw, oh, man! Okay, well, at least I kind of got out of it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I, I think I'm close to beating it. I'm just really struggling. Those bombs suck. They're very difficult to deal with. No, don't hit Thea, please! Okay, thank God, it didn't hit Thea. Okay, thank God it didn't hit the uh... Come on, it's got to be almost dead. Yeah, one more, one more attack. Oh, this is going to suck. Uh... I think, I think, oh, one, one HP! Oh, no. That's gonna suck. Uh, oh, dang it! Uh, fight. Do I have any... Zoop. Use that on Sammy. Ow. This is a really hard fight. At least for me, because I'm stupid. There we go. Ow! Oh, what's wrong with these people? I've had enough of this. Okay. He did not just eat us. What a sore loser. Well, I suppose we got to get out of this mess. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be dead at 23. All right, here we go. Boy, I like the visual effects, like the, the, the like dithering on the pixels and stuff. Like, I don't know if dithering is the right word, but it's like stretching the pixels in a weird way. Dude, I do not know what's going on. Is that a worm? Oh, hello. We don't get many visitors in here. Enjoy your stay. Uh, what What are you? Who, me? I think I'm just some kind of brain slug. I'm not really sure. All I know is that I have more power than you could ever imagine. <laughs> oh, it's just the same dialogue. Thank you. Thank you, brain slug. Oh, hello. How strong are you? Well, what do you mean? 
What do I mean? Hmm. I don't know. I just want to meet people who are really special. Oh, hello. Are you here to liberate us? From what? From what? This existence? We have no idea where we came from. What we're doing. Or where we're going. Oh, hello. Thank you for stopping to talk to me. Hey, no problem. No problem. I wish I could say the same. Oh, hello. How are you going? Uh, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. You're okay? That's nice. Some, uh, interesting things happening. Oh, hello. How many people have you met? Heaps. That's nice. Oh, hello. Do you have the time? Yeah, it's currently like, like around 3 p.m. Thank you. Currently 3.30 p.m. to be specific. Oh, hello. Are you going to stay a while? I want to get out of here. You want to leave? Well, you're nearly there. I hate Thea. It's his heart. What do you think we should do? I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm going to whack it. Oh, what have they done to me? Oh, <laughs> you win. You killed a ghost. Okay. I'm actually surprised that I won that fight. I, I thought of, I thought for sure I was gonna lose. Please, that's enough. I can't take it anymore. Well, maybe you should stop trying to eat us. I wasn't gonna eat you. I was only gonna scare you for a little bit. I just want to be left alone. Left alone, huh? Do you got many people down here? What are you doing in a place like this? Also, question. Didn't we run into a separate ghost? Wasn't there, like, another ghost that, like, was, like, kind of, like, orange-tinted? Or did I just make that up in my brain? Because I can't really tell anymore. What are you doing in a place like this? Like I told you, I don't know how I got here. Last thing I can remember is finishing up work for the night. You worked at the diner? That's right. It wasn't it, it wasn't that long ago. It was only for a little while, but I think I was a good employee. The customers liked me, the work itself was fulfilling. It really felt like I was making something of myself. I don't know how I died. So you are a ghost. Wait, people died here? Do you know anything about this? This is big! Huh? You two still alive? How'd you get here? Huh? We saw you upstairs. You dragged us into the freezer. That wasn't me. I'm trapped down here. I knew there was another ghost. I knew it! I, I knew I didn't hallucinate that! Hello? That was me. I'm so... It's so boring down here. I saw you all working and decided to lure you in here. I thought we could pretend it was like a, a scary dungeon or something. It's been super fun watching all of you get so worked up. Seriously? Hold on. You were outside? Are you telling me we can leave? Are you telling me you thought we were trapped here? What made you think that? I always go haunting people at night. What else are we meant to do? Oh man, now you tell me. I have so much ghost stuff to catch up on. When do they start kissing? Patience, patience, <laughs> chat. Well, that was weird. Dead people, a secret underground lair. I didn't think we'd end up having a mystery to solve. I was just looking for a job so I could cover my rent. We gotta get Echo and Dolis in on this. Okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm I'm depressed. I've become depressed. I'm like, no witnesses. You're back. Oh, I passed out. Well, are you okay? Chapter end. Would you like to save the game? Yeah, sure. Hello, Derek. Is there was there any reason you went to college? Um, <laughs> to get more knowledge, obviously. Chapter four, Volta. Still not really sure what this game is about. Hey, look, it's my, my cool goblin boyfriend from an alternate dimension. Hey, mate. Got a bad habit of passing out, hey? Sorry, just teasing you. Hope you're feeling okay. I don't feel so good. Oh, I reckon you'll be fine. You probably just got a chill from that cool room. Speaking of the cool room, what a disaster. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Ghosts? Are they real? Really? Why didn't you tell me about them? What do you mean it was irrelevant? And that sure is a lot of questions. I'll try my best to answer them. <laughs> the truth is, yes, ghosts are real. But here's the thing. They shouldn't still be here. People don't usually stick around when their time comes. It could be linked to what we're dealing with. Something might be keeping their spirit trapped on Earth. Honestly, it's not my job to attend to the fairs of the dead. So I don't really know what those two ghosts were just chilling down there. Get it? Chilling? Because it was cool in the in the coal room. Really nothing? <laughs> Sorry, I always forget that humans are so touchy about the whole death thing. Dude, this background makes me think that the G-Man from Half-Life is going to show up and be like, Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong room. My bad. Looking for a Freeman? Anyway, I think it'd be a good idea for you to forget all about that stuff for now. Let's focus on the task, Let's focus on the task at hand. If we want to make any progress, I'm going to need you to explore more of the city. While I do agree that holding a job is, is good, it won't help us solve any interdimensional space crimes. I managed to find a good number of spirit cell readings on the south side of the island. It's pretty weird how I can't pinpoint the source, but it is worth checking out. Don't worry, I'll figure out a way to get you and your new friends down there. Oh, also, try to keep our work a secret, yeah? It's good you have some mates now, but we can't let anyone else in on our mission. Got it. Oh, hey, it's the job show. Oh, you're awake. We were worried about you. You passed out. It was super scary. Hope you're feeling better. Dolus still has not said a single word. <laughs> but he is making the dumbest faces imaginable, so I guess that's something. So, it sounds like something messed up is happening at the diner. The Thea really wants to check it out. That's right! I, you know I love a good mystery. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. But what if it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous! That's what makes it exciting! Maybe we should just quit and find a new job. No! We gotta be the heroes of this story. Now come, help me work out a plan of action. So, I just looked up Gorilla Burger. I figured if all those people died, surely there must be some news about it. But it, as it turns out, there's nothing. Absolutely no word of it. Well, that settles it then. No point in looking into it anymore. That's rubbish! That means we need to do more investigating! We'll get back to work today and suss out the situation. Sus. 
If you're sure, I reckon a crime-fighting adventure is just what we need. I'm gonna get myself ready and head over to work. I'll catch you three there. So d does Thea just have... Does Thea just have the... The jacket forever now? Hold on, I want the pocket knife. Take. Give. Hold on, what? Where'd the, where'd the knife go? Oh, there it is, okay. Take. Give. Give. I'm running out of room. Toss. Uh, give to... yep. Give to that. Wait, what does the rock do? An ordinary rock. Okay, I'm tossing this. Uh, let it dark areas. Pretty sure my dad has his exact one. I'll toss the toss the net, and I'll hold on to it. Actually, mystery powder. Okay, I think that that's good. You left your party. Are those like glass chairs? Oh, these chairs are cute. Hey, we'll catch up with you in a bit. I'm gonna stay here and get ready. I know Thea is really keen on getting the bottom of this, but don't stress about it too much. Take as long as you need before heading to the diner. Oh, that's right, you haven't been up this way before. If you want to get to work, you can catch a bus there. There's a bus stop right outside her place. I'll see you later. I want to explore. Oh, hey, uh, welcome to my room. What are the medals for? I used to play a lot of sports. I was really good in high school. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's you, baby. I wish that that's what it said at the end of Undertale. Were you looking to the mirror? It's you, baby. Even after everything that's happened, it's still you, baby. What's Dolus doing? Sleeping? Dolus is a simple guy. Sour lollies, but your pockets are full. Man, there's not a lot of pocket space in this game. Coffee snack. Pockets, there we go. So, okay. The sour lollies are... 10 EP. That's fine, but I'm not interested. Uh, I need HP. Okay. And we are off. Ah, uh, hello everyone! I should have expected an audience. Well, fear not. Xander and the Bright City Defense Force are here to save the day. <laughs> Love you, Xander! <laughs> I wish I were him. I'm sad to announce that vile criminals have ransacked this tiny electronics store. It makes my blood boil knowing that our city is infested with monsters who would do such a thing. The cities of the citizens of North Bright City have already put up with living uh, with living in such an unfortunate area, but trust me when I say that crime like this won't go unpunished. 
Thank you, Xander. You can do it. Epic! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have some criminals to catch. Thank you, everyone. Your support is overwhelming. Feels like this stuff is happening every day. This used to be such a safe city. What happened? With all the changes to Bright City over the last few years, it was inevitable for this to happen. Looks like the reckless members of our community feel the need to act out in a time of such uncertainty. Well, I don't agree with it. I can see... Oh, looks like the game show is on! I love this show. Cool bench. It seems like the game wants me to sit on the bench. Ah, yes, it's the fast travel. So I have to go... not home. But the... the well, it, it said... It said that I have to... I have to fast travel? Is it in West City? Hold on, I'm going home first. Oh, hey, my goblin! Well... Okay. Pool goblin. I'm gonna just turn off the lights. Okay. It's not at the job site, so it has to be in North City. I'm a, yeah, I'm a little bit confused as to where this place is. Wait, is this the bodybuilding place? What the hell is going on? Uh oh, it's you. Listen, I know I invited you to our gym, but that was before you beat up our handsome leader. He's been like this for over a week. It ain't right. One of the core values of handsome humanity is trust. We have trust in each other, so we know someone will always have our back. Our wise leader decided to rush out to face his destiny. He decided to go alone to protect all, to protect all of us from the anomaly he had prophesized. We trusted him with this task, and yet he got beat down, and yet he got the beat down of a lifetime. He really broke his spirit, kid. I don't know if you are the anomaly he fears, but I do know that we'll be watching you with great interest. Okay. You need to call your boyfriend? Okay. Boyfriend! What's with this city of petty crime? There sure are a heap of dangerous characters out here. Awesome. Thank you, boyfriend. Maybe I have to go to the job center? Where- where is this- this- hold on. They said that I could use the bus to, like, to, like, go to the place I need to go, but... The burger shop is not... Hold on. I'll find it eventually, I guess, but... It's just very... It's a little bit strange. Crams? Hey there, how's it going? I'm good. Where are, oh, oh, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. So have you ever been to Cram's before? No, this is my first time. Ha, I thought that was the case. I remember everyone who comes here. Uh, you see, this is my shop. I'm Cram. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, if this is your first time, you'll need a Cram cup. I received a Cram cup. How generous. You put it in your pocket. That there is an insulated, reusable, double-walled, stainless steel coffee mug. I'm doing all I can for this dang planet, so I only serve coffee in those. Make sure you're bringing it wherever you want to order for me. Anyway, did you want to make- do you want me to make you something? Yeah, sure. What will it be? I'll buy, um, flat white latte, long black, cappuccino, oh, hot chocolate, yes. You want some hot chocolate? Coming right up. It's done. Please enjoy your hot chocolate. I'll be here when you're ready for the next one. 
So yeah, it, it seems it seems like the gym bros are like a cult in this. Found a cricket bat, put it in your pocket. Yeah, I can't I can't go to North City. Oh, it's because I'm in North City. West City is where I want to go. Okay, sorry. I was a little bit confused as to what I thought when it was highlighted, that meant that I was there. Turns out that's where I need to go. Finally, what took you so long? Doesn't matter. We got to get down to business. The others just got here as well. All right, gang. We're going to be the ones to solve this mystery. Looks like our boss isn't around. This is the perfect time to strike. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him since we started working here. That's really suspicious. Yeah, I, I think he's just gone permanently. I, I don't think he's coming back. Don't you reckon we should just call the police? This is really- NO WAY! <laughs> you just gotta have some faith, Echo! Imagine if we figured out what- uh, uh, huh? Hello? Uh-huh? Really? Uh, you don't say. Okay. What was that about? We gotta make a delivery to the Apricot Resort. Wait, what? You mean that fancy place down south? Why would somebody all from all the way over there order from here? It's even weirder than that. The order is not just for anybody. It's for Mr. Apricot himself. Seriously? You mean THE Mr. Apricot? As in, the mayor of Bright City? Uh, thank you for the exposition, Echo. The man responsible for so many of the changes to the city's infrastructure? One of the wealthiest people on the planet? That Mr. Apricot who wants to order some food from a dinky diner? Yeah, that Mr. Apricot. <laughs> hmm, this is also a bit suspicious, don't you think? Honestly, a little. Do you think we should do it? Obviously. What if the order was a decoy? Maybe he secretly owns the place, just like he owns the rest of the island. It could have been, like, a secret message. I don't know about all that, but I'd love an excuse to visit the resort. I'll take the delivery. Okay, here it is. Receive the special delivery. Better get going before it gets too cold. You gave it to Echo. Dolus and I are going to stay and look around some more. If we find anything, we'll let you know. You two head to Apricot Resort. Deliver the food and see if there's any connection to this mess. Gotcha. Let's get going. Echo, join your party. Oh, and before you leave, give me your mobile for a second. Oh, I registered Thea's phone number. Call me if something comes up. We'll watch you. We'll catch up with you two when we're done here. Okay, we gotta go to Apricot Resort. There we go. Apricot Resort Nature Preserve. Be excellent to the world around you. Oh, hey, it's the bug, bug catcher guy. Oh, it's you. Have you come here to beat up more helpless insects? Well, I won't allow it. Get out of my sight. No. I thought he was going to say something else. What happens if I call Thea right now? Hey, are you at the resort yet? I heard it's huge, so it'll probably take you a while to find Mr. Apricot. Most likely, yes. Apricot Resort. Hi there, welcome to Apricot Resort. How can I help you? Hey, we have a Mr. <laughs> we have a Mr. Delivery. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, we have a delivery from Mr. Apricot. Where should we drop it off? Ah, you two can deliver it yourselves. Mr. Apricot would love a visit from two complete strangers delivering fast food. You can normally reach his office via the elevator. Unfortunately, the elevator is broken, so you have to take the stairs. Mr. Apricot's on the top floor, so it'll take a very long time for you to get there. We're on low staff at the moment, so if you see any resort guests, you'll have to help them. It usually takes less than a minute and- Oh, look, the elevator's fixed. Ignore everything I just said. You can go to Mr. Apricot now. <laughs> okay. Did she say which floor he's on? I'm gonna assume it's the 10th floor. Salty, have you ever heard of the Tingle DS games only made for Japan and Europe? This game feels like those. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I do agree. This it, this has very similar vibes to the Tingle games. I played a bit of the, I think the first one, Tingle and Rosie Roop, Tingle's Ro Rosie Roop, Roop. <laughs> Tingle's Rosie Roopy Land. Are these like stairs? Laundry. Okay, this has got to be it. Oh, there he is. Uh, Mr. Apricot? Oh, who are you two? Oh, we're uh, from Gorilla Burger. We're here to deliver your order. Oh, that shabby little diner, of course. Echo gave Mr. Apricot the special delivery. By the way, I'm not Mr. Apricot. <laughs> I'm just this humble assistant, Taro. What? Then where is he? I thought we get to meet him. Well... We recently finished construction on a new park right behind this building. You'll find Mr. Apricot there. Could you two do me a favor and fetch him? I'm very busy right now. The entrance to the park is outside, just to the left of the building. Well, it does mean we'll get to see more of this place. Let's go. This is suspicious. I was gonna say, I feel like these paintings are of Mr. Apricot. Is this Mr. Apricot? It's gotta be him, right? Is this Mr. Apricot? Got you baited. In laundry. Ooh. There's a save save right here. And so we go all the way back to the ground floor. Salty having an aneurysm. Yeah. G. Okay, here we go. To Mr. Apricot! Welcome to Apricot Park. It's a carefully crafted maze for everyone to enjoy. You may even learn a thing or two about Mr. Apricot. More mazes. Huzzah. And okay, yep. It's a dun it's it's a dungeon. It's a du I should have I should have known. Wallop the alien. Okay, ow. Oh, you haven't used this before. Hey. That's okay. I'll I'll show you how they work. Is this game Canadian? Going to keep going till you mess up. Hmm. I think that's it. Go get him. That's interesting. A little bit disorienting, I won't lie. I, I like this one. Got it.
I just think that some party members just give like unique unique attacks, I think. I don't think it has to do with the items. That one's a lot harder than the circle. I will I will not lie. Shoot him up. Goodbye, B. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of grinding so that I can actually one-shot these guys easier. Dang, Echo has such a high health. Like, compared to me? I think I might actually start to wrap up soon. Then the next the next uh, save area, I'm I think I'm gonna start wrapping up. Mr. Apricot fact number four. Mr. Apricot's favorite color is royal blue. Okay, very cool. What what about this one? Mr. Apricot fact number three. Mr. Apricot's first pet was a kookaburra named uh, Punchy. It's a couple of nut aliens. Yeah, I didn't actually look at what these things were at the first first try. Nut aliens, huh? That's rough. That's rough, buddy. This is- that attack is really hard to do. Oof, that is really rough. Echo's my new fictional crush. Congrats. Hey, buddy. Congratulations. Mr. Apricot fact number four. Mr. Apricot has been involved in several undisclosed nuclear threats against seven unnamed European countries. Don't get beamed up. Okay, I did the opposite of what it asked me to. Finally, thank you. The circle has returned. Time to slay. I did not slay nearly enough. These things are really tanky, you see this? I'm doing like barely any damage to these things. I feel like you might- you're gonna get quizzed on Mr. Apricot facts. I hope I'm not because I'm not remembering anything. Except for the kookaburra named Punchy. I don't think I could ever forget that. What? Ah, oh, it's bees. Messed up already. Dude, I got one HP. This is rough. I can mess up any second now. Go. Thank God. I shockingly haven't died yet. I, I, I would have thought that I would have died already. Let's, let's go look at that other sign. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Apricot, fact number six. Mr. Apricot does not like rodents. Item capsule. Fuzzy snack. Here's another one. Fresh herb. I should probably heal myself. Um... Yeah, I'll use my hot chocolate now. Mr. Apricot fact number one. Mr. Apricot's birthday is on the 13th of December. Mr. Apricot fact number two. Mr. Apricot's age is a total secret. If you want to know what it is, you better not tell anyone. Or else... Here comes these, uh, nut aliens. These guys are very interesting looking. The, the, the controls for this car are insane. I cannot properly tell you how, like, how scuffed the car controls are for that. It's, it's rough. Yeah, this game is strangely comfy. I don't think I commented much on it, but it, it, it feels like strangely comfy. Which I, I guess could be a good or a bad thing, depending, you know what I mean? Because like, is it putting me to sleep or am I feeling comforted? You know what I mean? Because you don't want to be going to sleep during a battle. Yes, thank you. I like this one. This this mini game's great. Okay, this is a little bit rougher now. A little bit harder to do. Dang, dude, 40? God, the, the monsters in this area are really hard. Ugh. I do like the active combat system a lot. God, more? Mr. Apricot fact number nine. Mr. Apricot owns several cruise ships. His favorite is the SS Andy. Okay, I need to heal. Ooh, brass bell. These bees are t a teensy bit annoying. Oh, I like how I like how the mini game changes depending on who's being attacked. Here we go. Okay, one down, two more to go. Do you want the bees to buzz off? Yes, yes I do. Very funny, yes. They're whooping my ass. Hold on. 
I want to aim for the healthier one first. Never mind. God. That's, these attacks are really hard to master. Except for the circle one. The circle one's totally fine. Okay, awesome. Done. Bus driver and Kiryu are my new fictional crushes. I get that. I've I've been really like as, as I play more of Yakuza Zero, I've I really, really like Kiryu, like a lot. Kiryu is like my unproblematic fave. I honestly cannot wait to play more of that game. <laughs> I'm really sad. I talked about it on Twitter, but I realized uh, that I accidentally stopped my playthrough at a point where I couldn't do any mini games off stream, and it made me very sad. Uh, and Mr. Apricot fact number eight. Mr. Apricot finds numerous companies to help develop Bright City. All of this is for the benefit of all the citizens that live here. What is the use of science if we do not use it to become better? Stronger, smarter? No one will question us when they are too re when they are too re reaping the rewards. Okay. Um I need to I have like no health items and it's making me very scared. Uh I guess I'll eat the ramune. Uh Oh, the cricket bat gives a defense of uh plus 16. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon. Okay. No! Thank you. Items. Uh, CD-ROM 2. CD-ROM 1. Hold. Accessory. Give. Pretty knife. Echo. And then Echo holds the pretty knife and then also give Echo the other knife and the pocket knife will be held in the other hand and boom yeah Mr. Apricot fact number seven Mr. Apricot loves the outdoors you may not have noticed this park it's exquisite Everyone loves this park. Okay. Pardon me as I skip over some of these fights. Ah! Whoa, it's a nut alien! Oh my god! <laughs> Echo's dead! This is rough. I don't want to summon- I don't want to summon my goblin yet. Oh, thank god. Oh, <laughs> that was gonna kill me. I like that- I like that- I like that this game has led me to say sentences like, Oh, I can't unleash my goblin quite yet. I can't summon the goblin. I gotta be strategic. I can't- I, I can't just throw out the goblin right away. Mr. Apricot Fact 11. Mr. Apricot wrote, wrote all these signs himself. Thanks for joining me here. Let's get this over with. Mr. Apricot? Oh! I thought you were someone else. What did you do? Mm -hmm. Wow, I love your eyeliner. <laughs> A black eye, perfect. Who is that, Chambray? Your vibe is breathtaking. You're both so pathetic. It's as if everyday life has got you down. I love it. It's 
It's so alien to me! Listen, we came here to deliver you some food. We brought you your, your order from Gorilla Burger. Ah! That's odd, I don't recall ordering anything. Since you came all the way out here, I suppose it's only fair I take the delivery anyway. This might just be a blessing in disguise. See, when you're well off as me, you have... You can have professional chefs craft any meal imaginable. Though I must say, five-star meals do get boring after a while. Mayhaps the offerings of a rundown diner will reignite my taste buds. You didn't order anything? Huh, that's odd. Well, we left it with your assistant. Oh, with Taro? Isn't he just the sweetest? Did he send you down here? That was a very good idea. Usually I'm the ideas guy, and he's the loyal follower. He's like an adorable little roach. Or a tiny disgusting flea. He would struggle to be me, that's for sure. Do you come- do, do come back with me to the office, I need to pay you for coming here. Well that was weird and offensive. <laughs> I guess we're going back to the office. Is there a save point or something? Who is this supposed to be? Yeah, wait, okay, so if that's Mr. Apricot, then who is the guy in all the paintings and stuff? And who- it, I assume the guy in the paintings is the same guy that this statue is modeled after. Um... Hey, I'm gonna head back to the resort building. You wanna come with? Uh, yeah, I- okay. <laughs> Babe, when are you going to unleash the goblin? Soon! Soon, the goblin will be unleashed. Hello! I hope you enjoyed Apricot Park! I did. I did enjoy it. Hope you find what you're looking for. I guess we can check out all the floors. No, not that one. Okay, I guess we can't check out the floors. Um... <laughs> Dude, this is actually my nightmare. Dude, I- okay, actually though, elevators terrify me. Especially when they're glass elevators and you can like see outside as you like rise up. Oh my god. One, t one time, I got stuck in an elevator in New York City, and I, I nearly just- I, I, I freaked the fuck out. Like, the elevator just got stuck, and it was like 20 floors up. It was so terrifying. I was like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die here. Like, the elevator's gonna drop- it's gonna drop 20 floors randomly, and I'm gonna get smushed, and my legs are gonna snap like twigs. I don't know if I've ever said that on stream. I, I, I'm like deathly afraid of elevators and also, um, just heights in general. But anyway, yeah, uh, the elevator did something here. What was that? Okay, looks like the power is out. Let's get out of here. Oh, a thing. Peach. How are we doing on health? We're doing very rough. What's going on here? I hate to say it, but I think we gotta take the stairs. Dude, I need health immediately. Oh, thank God. Okay, awesome. Okay, we're all saved up. I think I'm gonna call it here because we've been streaming for like three and a half hours. I was only gonna stream for like two hours today. Anyway, yeah, no, th the game is is interesting so far. Really not sure what the plot is, but I don't know if I'm supposed to know what the plot is. Um, but yeah, the the, the gameplay is great. Like the the battle system is really clever and creative and fun, and I'm really enjoying myself so far. Um, tomorrow we're gonna get back to Yakuza. I would do fan art, but, uh, I'm a bit tired right now. So I'm gonna see if I can try to get a little bit of rest and then get to sleep early tonight. So I can play more Yakuza tomorrow. Um, 
but yeah, no. So, good game so far. Been enjoying myself, but I also am very excited to get back to Yakuza because I, you know, I, I want to play mini games. <laughs> I want to play mini games really bad. Uh, and, you know, anyway. Nice hanging out with you guys for today. I got some work to do tonight. I got some editing to do. So, do yourself a favor. Make sure to drink water. Uh, maybe sit outside for a little bit. Hang out. Don't overwork yourself. Don't overdo it. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. See you.